hello hello everyone how are you doing hope all is well you know the difference between school and life you see you in school you learn a lesson and then you get a test to see how much you have learned but you see in life you get a test that teaches you a lesson so remember life is like mathematics it's a challenge so the Justice Minister Delroy Chuck has moved to clear the air on the issue of same-sex marriage in Jamaica, declaring that the government does not and has no intention of supporting the practice. Chuck spoke during his contribution to the 2023 to the 2024 sector debate in the House of Representatives, where he disclosed that there has been an increase in the number of applications for same-sex marriages. Despite the fact that such unions are not recognized in Jamaica, he told the host that we enjoy when people come for their marriage license because it means that a family will be created, hopefully, or at least husband and wife, Chuck added. He also revealed that there has been an increase in number of marriage applications for the LGBTQ community, but he suggested that the government will not be taking any steps to legalize such unions on the island. He further stated, let it be clear we do not support same-sex marriages as yet or ever. He said the truth of the matter is that people have been coming asking for a marriage license for same-sex. This at the moment is not permissible, Chuck declared. He said, however, the Justice Ministry continues to provide ministers marriage license for walk-in applicants as well as those from hotel the ministry is able to complete the process within 24 hours for the majority of walk-in applicants he said which is also good for the tax administration of jamaica which earned 33 million two hundred and fifty two thousand so we are doing well so far he declared the thing is, with this inclusive woke agenda, how long will he be able to hold the gates on this? As the woke community is putting under pressure on all sectors of society and pressuring businesses to meet the inclusive agenda, which is more financially adept for business growth. As more and more the LGBTQ lobby groups are not taking no time off in forging ahead in demanding equal rights to do anything and everything but as i always say there are some things that is inevitable we don't have to change our belief we just have to figure out as we go forward how we can respect each other and get along because this fight is real because when you check it, even in other countries right now, we are the genders are fighting for even bathroom rights because trans men want to use the same bathroom that biological women use and it don't make any sense. So we soon have to put things in place where we have four different gender bathrooms and that is for another topic. Anyway guys, love you all. Bye for now.